How we doing? Tech, I appreciate your willingness to learn the ways of the card. Um, I really, really do. Um, but we're here. We've got a Yu-Gi-Oh! stream tonight. It's our bi-weekly Yu-Gi-Oh! stream. I actually looked that up today, because I wrote that in the Discord, and I was like, does bi-weekly mean every other week or twice a week? And it can actually mean either one, according to uh, the one Google page I looked at. Um, excuse me. Let's see. Hey there, Brody. <laughs> hey, if you're sending out Blue Eyes White Dragon, you're, you're sitting pretty. So one thing that I want to do tonight is I want to get a few more of those story battles going um, because kind of uh, a side thing that's happening in, this, in the story here of this game is that we are kind of thwarting the plans of these ghouls, they call them, that are stealing people's rare cards. Um, and then that will lead us to kind of like the end game of the story. The story is very light in this game. It's very much like we're just, we're just playing Yu-Gi-Oh. That's kind of like what the game is built around. Um, I'm gonna try to attack into this. It might be, it might be the Forgiving Maiden, which is a 2,000 defense, but we'll see. It's not great. Uh, <laughs> it's just an NFT, that's hilarious. Um, but yeah, this game, I love this game. It's so delightful. Really puts me at ease. Most of the time anyway, until... Okay, that's fine. I will take that. I will take the life points. Slifer the Sky Dragon in defense mode. Wow, what a play. Um, okay, I'm gonna put you in defense mode. Um, Slifer the Sky Dragon is actually my favorite of the Egyptian God cards. Um, the, those are cards that are actually in the Battle City arc of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Egyptian God cards, but not in this game, unfortunately. At least I don't think so. You can probably get them, like, via, like, a code or something. Oh, you just looked it up? Well, hey, there you go. I remember when I was very young, um... I convinced my parents to buy me a Slifer the Sky Dragon card from a card shop. Um, and it was like $60. <laughs> it was a really expensive card. Um, but it's great. I still have it. Uh, it's probably in a little bit worse shape than I got it. But I, but I, you know, for a kid, I treated my cards extremely well. Um... And, uh, yeah, I love Slifer. There's a really, uh, great arc in this, um, season of the anime where Yugi is fighting against a guy, or dueling against a guy who's got a Slifer the Sky Dragon. Oh, that's terrible. Ah, oh, what a turn of events that was. I will discard Karibo, actually. Um, wonder what it's worth now. I actually don't know. Because I know that there are, like, tons... Of, wow, we have three giant soldiers of stone. How about that? I think I'll play one in defense mode. Um, yeah, because there are tons of different prints of all the god cards. Because, you know, they're just, like, popular, iconic monsters. So they just reprinted them again and again and again. And I don't know... I'd have to really look into it. I don't know which ones are worth... Um, a lot, and which ones are worth a little. Um, you know what? I'll play another one in defense mode while I'm at it. Um, but, uh, I've talked a little bit about my Pokemon collecting journey. I, I enjoy collecting Pokemon cards a lot, and I kind of, like, actively do that. Um, but as far as the Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff goes, I do collect it a little bit, but I only collect, like this old school stuff and stuff that I really care about. Um, oh, excuse me. You know what? Giant Soldier number three. Um, I... Let's see. Holy crap. Your uncle has two Black Lotus from MTG? That's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> Them's things valuable. Oh, no! Wait, what does Imperial, Imperial Order do? Okay, that's great. 
we're gonna do that because Raigeki was going to be horrific for us. Um, there we go. It did not work. Love that. I would believe that. I mean, if he's got two Black Lotus, then yes. Um, no, I will not pay the life points there. Um, so we don't have a ton we can do here. So I'm just gonna keep my line of my line of soldiers in defense mode. Um, oh, you can't beat the first battle, Brody. Have you have you tried to play this? Um, I love this game. Oh, um, a couple of other things. Uh, one, I didn't update our record. Oh no. Um, no. What is that effect? Oh my lord. Can I do that? No, it's okay. Um, oh, we got St. Joan on the field. I hate that very much. I will use my Spellbinding Circle because even though I won't be able to get it out of attack mode, it won't be able to attack, so that's really good uh, because St. Joan is a very powerful card. Um, does this have, like... Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Okay, so I gotta destroy you right now. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, about the record, I <laughs> I got really sidetracked. Um, <laughs> thanks, Brody. Uh, I didn't update our record, but the last Yu-Gi-Oh! stream, I kind of, like, combed through all the duels. We went 11-0 and 0 last stream, so we our record is now 33-8, and 8, um, which is pretty mighty, I must say. Um, but one thing I wanted to do, ah, she has Marie the Fallen one there. Okay. One thing I wanted to do was really put forth the effort to get through the story a little bit and defeat a few more of those uh, ghouls and we'll be able to, oops, I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. <laughs> we won eight and lost 32. Good record. <laughs> uh, let's see. So yeah, I want to continue continue the story as much as we can tonight. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh boy. Oh, that's horrible. That was uh, a big fat misclick there, kids. I hope that doesn't cost us the duel. <laughs> that would suck. Because uh, we got to get rid of that fire princess because I think it can keep deducting our life points there. Alright, this is great. I will sacrifice two of our soldiers to get our Buster Blader out of the field. Um, but I did just realize that one of these could be the Magician of Faith. And if it is, okay, good. Um, Cause a Magician of Faith could be very bad because that means she could get her Dark Hole or her Raigeki back, um, which would destroy two of our very powerful monsters. But yes, one wrong move and boom, you're right, Tech. It really can turn very quickly if you mess up. And like, it's funny, um, cause I know nothing about new Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't even know anything about like, kind of old Yu-Gi-Oh. I only know, like, the vintage era. Um, oh, what's up, Loctess? Hello. Um, but yes, I only know, like, the vintage era. And there are some cards that I'm pretty sure, like Raigeki, for example, I'm pretty sure were never not banned because they were just so good, at least, you know, in, like, actual competitive formats. Okay, that's fine. She has a lot of cards that can, like, instantly, um, deduct your life points, does Taya. And she's actually ahead of us now. Okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> almost time. <laughs> Heck yeah, Brody. Um, 
All right. Unfortunately, against St. Joan, I can't really do anything. I am so mad that I destroyed our Dunamis Dark Witch. Um, oh my goodness, Tech. Bless you. That's so nice. Um, ah, Dark Hole. Okay, I'm happy that we have it. Tech, my goodness. You're just on a, a kindness spree, aren't you? Thank you. Um, oh, one thing is... Okay, that's good. I decided to call the tears... Ah, I decided to call the tears... Listen to this. This is great. It's Silver Cave Gaming, right? And I love Gen 2. Um, so the tears are called Larvateer, Pupateer, and Tyranateer. How delightful. Um, I was proud of that. Okay, we got it here, kids. This is gonna be great. Check this out. Incredible. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys like it. Um, we are using Dark Hole. We're gonna clear, just clear the deck here. Um, no. And now I'm gonna play my Monster Reborn. Because I really needed a way to get that St. Joan off the field. I don't think I can play it from her. Ooh, I can. Lovely. Um, so I'm going to play St. Joan in attack mode. And I'm going to take a big, delicious bite out of her life points. It's going to be so tasty. Mm. Um, <laughs> about to lose his wealth, it's true. Um... But, uh, yeah, Old School Yu-Gi-Oh! Raigeki was too powerful. Dark Hole was probably too powerful, honestly. Um, but that's just how it was, baby. They were finding their way. Ooh, I could technically play Magician of Black Chaos. I'm gonna wait for now, though. doo dee dee doo dee doo Oh, wait, no, I can't. St. John's only a seven star. Doo-doo. So, Tech, did you never play Yu-Gi-Oh, like, at all growing up? Excuse me. Because I'm curious how how little you know about what's going on right now. Okay, we got our crazy fish. <laughs> Every time I see crazy fish, I think, I said, hey, you're a crazy fish. I think it every time. Let's see. You played a little bit in elementary school, but never had your own deck. I see. Um, I'm so glad I attacked with St. Joan instead of Crazy Fish. But there we go. Um, uh, yeah, I, I mean, obviously I played when the original cards came out. Me, me and my cousin were very, we were very tight. We played Pokemon a lot together. We played Yu-Gi-Oh a lot together as well. Um, so he was always my, he was always my buddy. Um, so I always had a pretty consistent dual partner, um, which was super fun. And I do specifically remember, ooh, she's got her uh, own giant soldier as well. I do remember getting the starter decks with another buddy of mine from school. And he got the Kaiba one and I got the Yugi one because I wanted to be the hero. But joke was on me because he got the blue eyes and I didn't, so I lost. Um, funny fish go burr. <laughs> uh, okay, great. I wanted to do one regular duel. So here we have our packs once again. Um, we are looking for a couple specific cards. We can do... So let's see. We can do the Red Eyes pack or the Black Luster Soldier pack. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> I definitely get that. Um, not being able to afford all those cards. I mean, I feel bad for my parents buying all that junk they bought for me. Uh, but, uh, so what do we think? Red Eyes or the Black Luster Soldier for our decks, for our pack? Red Eyes, I like it. I like it. Ah, we didn't get what we wanted. The uh, red eyes were, we are looking for two cards. We're looking for the Maneater Bug and Gaia the Dragon Champion. Um, Gaia the Dragon Champion isn't that good, but I do love it. Ah, Target Week. 
Um, okay. Ah, uh, we can beat Truesdale. That's easy. Tr Truesdale and Mako. We should be fine. Um, so we can we can beat these two guys in target week, and then I want to try to make sure we fight a duel. We have both of them here. We'll fight Truesdale first. Do people die in Yu-Gi-Oh? It's actually interesting because in the manga, they really play into the like like shadow game element of it, where it's like you you're kind of like dueling for your life in the manga, like like Yugi will be hooked up to like a saw style trap and if he loses the duel he's gonna die but in the anime they like very much tone it down to be instead of he'll die he'll be like sent to the shadow realm um i'm thinking specifically there's one where like razors are going to like cut his legs off but in the anime they're like mystical discs <laughs> and they clearly just like put purple on them <laughs> So they didn't look like saws. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, and Yu-Gi-Oh is kind of like, it's kind of spooky. It's kind of like, there's a lot of like possession um, and like these items possess people. And technically Yugi is possessed by a pharaoh, but lucky for him, the pharaoh's nice. Um... Because they have a buddy in the anime, Bakura, who we see in this game. And he is um, possessed by something that uh, from a Millennium item that is evil. So their friend Bakura turns evil. Yeah, I definitely get that. I definitely get why a parent would prefer Pokemon. There, There is a little bit of kind of like uh, pentagrammy type stuff <laughs> in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um... But, I mean, the, the anime definitely, like, toned it down a lot to, like, you know, not make parents completely hate it. Um, uh, we won't do that yet. No. Great. Um, Swords of Revealing Light is mega lame because we cannot, excuse me, we cannot attack. Um, <laughs> me and my gun can make people die. <laughs> What the heck, dude? Uh. Alright, luckily Truesdale's not very good. Um, oh, I did just discover this as well. I was talking about the Battle City arc of the anime, and I genuinely love it. Um, and I learned recently that if you just go to Yu-Gi-Oh.com, they have the anime on there just like for free, apparently. A buddy of mine told me that. Um, which is insane. Ah, uh, the American anime is much different than the Japanese. I could definitely see that. Um, because it's, I mean, it's probably similar to anime versus manga, I suppose. Um, I will do the ceasefire. Because that'll do 500 points of damage. Oh, or I thought it would. Oh, I think it's if it's an effect monster. Um, that's okay. No big deal. Um... We'll get another Dark Witch out here, and we can destroy these two face-ups. Um, Truesdale can be annoying. I love how he did a tribute for a 1700 monster. That's very bad. Oops, I didn't mean to attack that one, but it's okay. Um, do -do -do -do. I am kind of afraid of that trap card, because I know he has, like few good ones in his deck. Let me let me do this, see if it's a magic jammer. No, it's not. Okay. Um we'll get rid of the Dark Magician. And we'll get rid of we'll get rid of Backup Soldier. Um so now we'll play you face down. And now I'll take my chances with this <laughs> the website said piracy is fun. No, I think it's like Yu-Gi-Oh's website. Like, it's, it's like a, the official website of the card game. Um, at least I think so. I don't know. Maybe he lied to me, but someone can test that out. Because a couple years ago, I was kind of like re-watching the anime just like in the background as I did other stuff. And I think it was on Netflix. And they didn't have 
like the end of the Battle City arc. Oh, Trap Hole, that's fine. We're fine. Um, they didn't have the end of the Battle City arc. And now, if I can watch those for free, I really want to see what happens at the end of the Battle City arc. I mean, I think I know everybody wins and is happy. Um, but uh, I've never actually seen those episodes, or if I have, I don't remember them. Because um, I remember so much about that. Um, oh, we have Dark Magic Ritual. Um, that's fun. I'm going to play The Magician of Black Chaos because it sounds like a good time. Um, okay, we will get rid of... You know what? We'll get rid of my two tributes here. That's no big deal. Oh, no. I didn't realize that we could equip Beast of Gilfer on something if I just sacrifice it. So we'll do this. Ah, that was a 200 defense monster. I did not need to waste Magician of Black Chaos on that. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it, man. That was so stupid. That's why ritual monsters are very kind of like... They're usually not worth it. I, I kind of like to have one in my deck just because it's fun. Um, ah, the joke's on you. I'm gonna use Monster Reborn and end you this turn anyway. Um, I'll just do Dark Magician. Um, yeah, Ritual Monsters usually aren't worth it, but I do like to have one, especially because the Black Luster Soldier, if, when, if and when we ever get that one, the Black Luster Soldier is, um, tied with my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card. I love it. Black Luster Soldier has a great moment in the original uh, season one of the anime. All right. So now, let's see. <laughs> I'm going to do this one. Oh, there he is! Black Luster Soldier! Uh, hooray! Oh, I love the Black Luster Soldier. I love that artwork. It's so regal and cool. And we even got the Black Luster Ritual here is uh, what summons him. That's great. I love that. Um, Woohoo! That's right. This is like, this right here is tied for my favorite card ever. So that is so sick. Um, and we are going to add him to our deck once this is done. Ah, I got another Dark Witch. I think we already have three in our deck, though. Um, we did it! It's true. Um, so. Let's do the filter. And here we can filter out our magic cards. So we can find our Black Luster Ritual. And we'll filter out our Ritual cards to get our Black Luster Soldier. Huzzah. Alright. So now here. Um, Dark Magic Ritual, love you, buddy, but you're gonna go to the side deck now. Because we got a bigger, badder Ritual Monster here. It's not by a lot, it's by 200 attack, but... I mean, the Magician of Black Chaos is also so sick. I love that card as well. It also had a great feature in the Season 1 anime. Um, but the, the Black Luster is where it's at. Um, what cards do I need now? Um, that is a great question. Um, I want to get a Raigeki. I was talking about that. It can destroy all the monsters on your opponent's side of the field. Um, we need to fight Mako too, so we'll do that. Ooh. Let me update our record. We're 2-0 and today, so we are now 35-8, and which is great. Um, but... Uh, other cards we need. We need the Maneater Bug. I would like to pick up the Magician of Faith, which can help us get an extra magic card that we have used. Like, let's say we used our Monster Reborn, and that's the only one in our deck. Um, if you use Magician of Faith's ability, you can get that Monster Reborn back, which is super duper. Very, very good. All right. Um, ooh. Another huge one is Mirror Force. Um, that's maybe the best trap card in the game. 
Um, so we definitely, we want that. Um, let's just wait this out for now. I'm gonna put you in defense mode. Brody, I have a question. Do you say in Scotland the record, the wins first or the losses first? Because to me, 35 and 8 means we've won 35 times and lost 8 times. Because I don't know if that's different. <laughs> do, do, do. Do, do. Um, ooh, Mystical Space Typhoon. We're gonna use that on the Umi there. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, and I'm gonna put them both in attack mode. We'll do the Giant Rat. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> The Giant Rat is a card that I like to play just, excuse me, just because if something, if I have a feeling something terrible is going to happen, but I want to try it out, I can just throw the Giant Rat out there. Ah, uh, okay, so you say that we won 8 and lost 35. Oh, okay. Um, so it's just the opposite of that. We've won 35 and lost 8. Um, um, so yeah, we're sitting we're sitting pretty. Usually once you get those first couple losses out of the way in this game, um, and you start to get those first couple good cards out of the packs, um, you can start getting on a roll pretty quickly. And you know, I've also been not not fighting the toughest competition. <laughs> Just because I want to make sure I'm getting some good cards before we try to fight like Yugi and Kaiba. Like they're really good duelists in the game. Alright. Um, I'm going to put Penguin Soldier down. Um, yeah, we are the goats. It's true. Um, and I mean, you can just fight as many duels in this game as you want. Um, like I said, it kind it kind of functions. Oh my gosh, the torrential tribute! Um, it kind of functions as like a just kind of like a Yu-Gi-Oh simulator for people who like to play the game. And now I don't have any cards. Absolutely, I do. Thank you. There we go. Great. Um, yeah, Giant Soldier is not going to be amazing here, um, but I do want to make sure I can do some direct damage when I can. Um, Tangelo. Oh, what is that card? Tangelo. Did I say that already? Or was that a typo? Um, Giant Red Sea Snake. That is terrible. Um... Oh, you mean Raigeki. I told myself that I wasn't going to use codes, Brody. But, uh... I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I appreciate that. <laughs> when I went into this, I'm like, I'm going to do it. I okay, good, Tech. Okay, good. Uh, I when I went into playing this game, I'm just like, I want to get every card the hard way. Because you are right. I'll actually... I think I showed that off in a previous stream. Um... You can totally just, like, um, I appreciate it, Tech. Um, but it is funny, because the game, it's not like a cheat. The game does give you the option to, like, code in cards. And I think it's just, like, if you have the cards in real life, they're just like, hey, it's cool. If you have the card in real life, you can use it in the game. So that's kind of neat. Um, but, I mean, everybody just knows what the codes are now, so... <laughs> You're a cheater. <laughs> uh, hey, that's that's true. You're correct. Um, I don't have the card in real life. You're correct. Um, but yeah, I think that was their original intent when they made the little code thing um, for you to put in, for one to put in. Um, uh, 
da ba doo da doo da I forget what this... I always forget what this does. Oh, yes. Um, it's the, uh... Yeah, sure, I'll do it. Ah. <laughs> well, there we go. Um... Ooh! Tech, that's actually really cool. I'm going to... After this duel, that's a great idea. Um, I'm gonna pull one out. Because I do have some here. Um, because a lot, a lot of my collection I don't have here in my, uh, apartment. Um, but I am going to pull out a card that I have and show you guys how that works. That's actually really cool. Do, 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 Um, all right, so we're generally sitting pretty here. Royal Decree, this is, ah, uh, great. This is for trap cards. So if that trap card sucks and just destroys us, um, is that Seven Colored Fish? Yeah, we'll keep that out. Because he likes to play that Umi card, which is like, you know, like the ocean card. And if he plays that, it will power up our Seven Colored Fish, which is delightful. I'm really glad. I feel like Mako, yeah, he's given up. He's given up! There we go. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Lugia does kind of look like a blue eyes white dragon there. Mm. Alright, so now we've defeated both of our. Ooh, the gold Millennium Eye. Yes, we get this for winning Target Week. I forget what's in here. Anything good? Hopefully. Oh, wow. Nothing really. Ah, this card is sick. I remember I got a first edition version of this card and it was awesome. This card, you were talking about Slifer the Sky Dragon earlier. This card was a part of the dude's strategy in the Slifer the Sky Dragon arc and it was sick. This card was so cool in the anime, so overpowered. It's not really how it works in the real game, <laughs> but love Revival Jam. Um, lovely. It is cool that we got Revival Jam. It's not really useful, but... Um, Okay, give me one second. Not even gonna turn my mic off. Um, so you can still hear. Let's. I'm opening my special Seto Kaiba chest right now. Okay. All right, I'm back with some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like, let's see here. Ah, we have this in our deck. This is the giant Trunade, if you can see. Um, <laughs> Lucia says no. <laughs> we must now have... <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, okay. Let's see. Oh! This card is sick. We don't have any of the other cards to use it, but this is the Gate Guardian. Mm, love this card. There's a lot of reflection on my top loaders there. But let's see if there's something that we can use that we don't yet have. Um, we can maybe use that. Um, I'm trying to see. I might have Raigeki in here. If I have Raigeki in here... I might program it in. Because I think that's a good rule. If I have it, if I have it in real life, we can program it in. Um, ooh, that could be a good one. Um, let's see. I have some Black Luster Soldiers, which is lovely. Do, 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 do. Oh gosh, that's a really good card too, guys. We could really, we could really spruce up the old deck here. Um, ugh, I don't have Raigeki here. That's very sad. But all right, so <laughs> okay, so I have three cards. How many cards are we going to program in? Are we going to do just one? 
because I don't want to do, be too crazy, but I do like the rule that if we have it, we can program it in. I think that's a fun, fair rule. Because um, right here, do one each battle. Love it. Um, okay. So I have I have three over here that I want to put in. So let's... Uh, <laughs> 20. <laughs> Brody, <laughs> get out of here. Um, okay. So what I want to do is I want to talk to some passengers here because I want to get the next um, notification that says ghouls are about. Um, ah, thank you, Tech. Um, because once we get that... Um, oh, this is the championship. Ah, oh, we can still get a good card from the championship. Hmm. But I don't know, because that's two duels. I don't really want to commit to two duels right now. Um... Let's see. Ah, here we go. This is an urgent announcement for all participating duelists. Incidents of card robberies. Okay, BR, BR, BR. Great. Um, okay. So. The next passenger we talk to, it's gonna be a ghoul. Um. <laughs> um. So I hope it's not one of like the crazy difficult ones. Um, but let's see. Let's see who it is. Ah, uh, no, it's not. There should be one soon. Oh, we should get our extra points for target week. That's great. Um, okay, maybe over here. Okay, this is gonna be a duel, or a ghoul rather. Would you please hand over one of your rare cards? It would be wise to do as I tell you. Ah, okay, Arcana. This is a guy who likes to use Dark Magician-type strategies. Um, I'm actually happy to see him, because he's not... He's not one of the better ones. Um, but we'll see. Whew, okay, we got that. Mm. Great music there. Okay. Um, okay. I like a Negate Attack and Dunamis Dark Witch. That's a good first set. Good first set. And this is tough because if he beats us, he's going to take one of our good cards. Um, uh, one of the strongest cards in our deck, which means I think if he beats us, he's probably going to either take a Dark Magician, or maybe even our Black Luster Soldier, which would make me so sad. Um, okay, this is that one. <laughs> I'll send you my Venmo. <laughs> JK. Hard JK. Um, let's just fight our way out of here. I do wonder what his trap card is, and it is Mirror Force, which is not good. Um, I think I can still play a card. Yes, I can. That's actually why I waited to play a monster. Great. We doing all right. We doing all right here. Oh, can I? No, I can't do anything about that. It's sad. Um, hold on. I have to update our record. I actually forgot we beat Mako, so we're 36 and 8. Okay. Okay. Um... Oh, I didn't put in a card yet. After we win, I'll put one in. Because the card that I'm going to put in is Mirror Force, the one that he just used against us, um, which I'm very happy about. Um, okay, he's got Cannon Soldier, which is fine. Cannon Soldier, what it can do, he can tribute one of his monsters to do 500 points of direct damage to our life points, which is not great for us. Um, but here I can negate the attack, which is good. Alrighty. Things are a little tense. Um, I hate using our Monster Reborn this early, but I really want to get his Cannon Soldier off of the field. And I'll just bring Dunamis back out here. Alright, so that's lovely. 
Um, Trap Hole is a good card to have, too. So, I believe I've said this before. Um, in this game, to kind of progress to the next part of it, um, you have to defeat five ghouls. I believe it's five. Um, and so far, this is our second one. So, okay. There should be three more, because we beat Loomis and Umbra, and now we're fighting Arcana. Um, yeah, I believe there's three more. Um, excuse me. Alright, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did earlier. I'm just gonna wait to play anything and just see what that trap is. Negate attack, that's fine. Um, he might have a very powerful card called Magic Cylinder. Um, okay, this is great. He's got nothing out. Mmm. This is delicious right here. There we go. We'll just do our direct damage real quick. Lovely. Um, I actually think, I was thinking about this earlier. Not great. Oh, that's the most pointless thing you've ever done. Wow, he actually made this very easy for us. Um, I love that. Um, I was just thinking how I think there is another Yu-Gi-Oh game for the Game Boy Advance um, that is exactly like this game, um, but just like the engine runs so much slower, um, which makes me very happy. But great! That was not stressful whatsoever. Um, goodbye, Arcana. All right, what we got here? Ah, ha, ha, some very nice cards. We have the Black Skull Dragon, which is the Summon Skull and Red Eyes Black Dragon. Uh, a very strange looking dude, it's true. Um, fused together. We have Barrel Dragon, one of my personal favorites. Toss a coin three times. If two out of three results are heads, destroy one monster on your opponent's side of the field. You can use it once per turn. Really good. Yes, Tech. Barrel Dragon, this is actually a really great example. Barrel Dragon is a great example of censorship in the Yu-Gi-Oh card game because it's supposed to be like a gun dragon. It's supposed to have all like guns, but they put some kind of like blue glow and plasma energy around it to make it look less like gun-like. Um, so yeah, I actually support that. I don't like guns. Guns make me very uh, nervous and sad. Um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, but Barrel Dragon's great. We're probably going to add that to the deck. Fortress Whale's a really cool card. Mako actually uses that in the anime. It's delightful. Uh, and here's Exodia the Forbidden One. Uh, this is the head of Exodia. If you have the head, the right arm, the left arm, the right leg, and the left leg all in your hand, you automatically win the duel. And there is a guy in this game where the only thing he tries to do his entire strategy is to try to get Exodia. So that can be very nerve-wracking, and you can lose that way. Um, but yeah, Exodia is great. Um, so we're going to put Barrel Dragon in our deck, and we're also going to put Mirror Force in our deck, which is great. Um, uh, okay, yeah, nothing out of the Duelist Weekly. So let me show you guys how this works. Yes, here you can go to Password. And on a Yu-Gi-Oh card, in the bottom right corner, like right there, you can't really see it, there's like a set of numbers. Um, and you can put in those numbers, like let me see here. So, Mirror Force should be 4, 4, 0, 9, 5, Seven, six, two. And then we'll hit get card. There it is. Mirror Force, baby. That's a real good one. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tech. My goodness. Um, yeah, Mirror Force is an amazing card. When an opponent's monster attacks, negate the attack and destroy all the opponent's monsters in attack position. That's crazy good. Um, 
So that's great. Um, so we're going to add... Oh, I don't know why I got out of there. Because we're going to add Mirror Force and Barrel Dragon to our deck. Um, there we go. Two main deck. And then... Yes, Barrel Dragon. Great. So now I want to take out a few cards. I think I'm going to go ahead and send our other Dark Magician to our side deck here. Um, just because I prefer to have the Barrel Dragon. I'll keep Dark Magician Girl around. Um, actually, no, I won't. I'm going to send Dark Magician Girl over too. Um, I feel pretty good about that. Um, and maybe one of these traps can go. Yes, this one will go to our, just to our trunk. Excellent. Feeling great. Feeling great. Um, let's do another duel. Um, let's take on someone tough with our new card. We'll take on Joey. Um, Joey is... <laughs> now he's your side girl. <laughs> That's funny. Um, all right. Now that we have the super powerful mirror force in our deck. I love that idea. If we have it in real life, we can use it. I love that. Um, Cause that's what it was made for. All right. So. Do, 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 ba, ba. Um, let's do giant soldier stone. In good old defense mode. It's gonna be great. Unless he pulls out a uh, goblin attack force. Oh, nope, Zombire of the Dark. Same diff. Same diff. Joey just has those really powerful four star monsters. They're so good. And it's like, yeah, when that monster attacks, or when it destroys a monster, I don't remember. Um, yeah, if it destroys a monster in battle, its attack is decreased by 200, but. 1900 is still really good. Even 1700 is good. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I love it, Brody. Um, there we go. We'll get rid of that trap. And there's really not much I can do here. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Because my crawling dragon is certainly not powerful enough to destroy that. Alligator Sword is a classic, classic Joey monster. Ah, oh, it looks like it might not be able to attack directly, Zombira there. Ah, yes, it cannot attack a player directly. I actually didn't know that, so that is pretty helpful. Um, we can get Crazy Fish in here. Zombira will be able to defeat Crazy Fish, but it will also lower its attack power a little bit more can make it easier to deal with, which I love to see. <sighs> that hoits. That is not good. Oh, it just says, it just, all it says is hi? Oh, that's annoying. Do, 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 do. Let me get that out. Is that something I need to, like, create? Do I need to, like, make something special for you to redeem your points? Because that's something I've never had to do before. I'll have to learn how to do that. Um, no, that's fine. Um, so, so far, Joey is, uh, just cleaning our dang clock right now. Um, alright, luckily, okay, it's at 1500 attack. It's much easier to do with. Um, oh, it highlights the message in, twi in Twitch chat. Um, oh, interesting. I can, I can see the message in stream, but I can't see, like, that it's highlighted. You know what I'm saying? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah. I'll, hey, I don't know if that's a Twitch thing. Maybe I can, maybe I can lower that. Um, maybe I can make it less than 100 points for that. Oh boy, I'm nervous about what's to come here from Joey. Oh, he has another one! Gosh dang it, guys. I just don't know if this is gonna be our gonna be our our duel here. Unless we can get like a mirror force right now. Ah, Penguin Soldier lets us fight another day. Um Okay, because now we can send some of these back to his hand. Um, I definitely won't send that one back to his hand, because it's already down to 1,500 attack. It'll be 1,300, actually. Um, so I can get rid of you. And I can get rid of you. All right. Do -do -do -do. Very interesting. That's very uh, peculiar math on their part. Do, 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 do. Unfortunately, things aren't looking much better in our duel here. Um, I did forget that we have Karibo, and I will definitely be using Karibo next turn. Yeah, we got a really bad hand. Well, Kariba will help us live one more turn, at least. Let's see what we got. And, oh, this is terrible. I have the Black Luster Ritual, but nothing to sacrifice <laughs> to play Black Luster Soldier. Uh, I will call the teacher, Brody. Don't worry. Twitch is bullying you, and I won't stand for it. Um, oh, guys. That was a loss. A terrible, terrible loss. We're now 37 wins and 9 losses. <laughs> Lugia says that's stupid. <laughs> I love that picture of the Lugia plush. It's so, like, so regal. Alright, well dang. We gotta end on a win. Gotta end on a win. Um... Let's fight Weevil. I hate Weevil. I think we can beat him. And it's going to be great. Um, <laughs> that's right, Brody. Um, Alright, so we will defeat Weevil. And then I will... If we're able to defeat him, i got to figure out which card we're, we're, we're bringing in. We're bringing in from the outside world here. Um... I'll do this one. I have one right here. That'll be perfect. Um, okay. Let's see. There is my mirror force. I needed it earlier. I'll play Crazy Fish as possibly a trap. We'll see. Oh no, it's still fine. Okay, I love having one defense position monster kind of like in my back pocket as I do an attack. He loves to have these effect monsters like Maneater Bug. Love Maneater Bug, it's a great card. Uh, when you flip it like that, it can destroy a monster on your opponent's side of the field. It's very, very useful. Because like, Let's say your opponent's got a blue eyes white dragon, and you're like, I have no way to defeat this thing. Mirror Force, baby! I probably should have saved that, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, like, let's say your opponent has a blue eyes white dragon, and you have no way to defeat it. You just put a man eater bug face down, and if it attacks it, it can destroy it. A bug eats a dragon, allegedly. Um, all right, we're sitting pretty so far. Bop, 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 so far is the operative phrase. Um, oh, it's bringing back Axe Raider. 
Um, I am going to use my magic jammer. Screw you, man. Get rid of my multiply. Okay. <laughs> that is a very big bug, Tech. You are correct. Um, okay, we'll play you in defense. I don't think Weevil has any good any monsters with like really good defense. Uh, I think the Steel Scorpion will make Crazy Fish be destroyed in like a certain amount of turns. I think that's its effect. Which isn't as bad as Man Eater Bug, but it's still not ideal, yes. Two turns remaining before Crazy Fish is destroyed. Thank you, game, for the reminder. This is great. Oh, yeah. We're sitting pretty here, gang. I'll do the Fisher to add some insult to injury, but this is pretty much GG for stupid Weevil. If anyone's ever watched the anime, Weevil's the worst, and I hate him so much. <laughs> Brody. <laughs> pretty much, yes. Um, okay, I don't believe it. I'm not supposed to lose with my all-powerful insect deck. Okay. So now... Nope, that's not what I wanted. Um, we have another win. 38 wins and 9 losses. Okay, so now that we've defeated Weevil, I'm going to try to get the Maneater Bug out of the Red Eyes pack. I think it's I think it's some good luck. We'll see. Ah, no. Just a really bad 5-star monster. So that makes me sad. A deck for ants. <laughs> Classic. Um, all right, but we did win, so I am going to do a password. He is the living embodiment of a nerd emoji. And he's a nerd because he's mean, you know? Um, so the card that I have chosen to bring in is this right here, the Gemini Elf. Yugi uses these all the time, and it is a great monster because it has 1900 attack. We'd love to see that, so I'm gonna bring this in. Um, let's see, six, nine, one. Six, nine, one. You're a Gemini, wonderful. I am a Libra, actually. Um, two zeros. And then nine, eight. Let's see. There they are! Gemini Elf is a great card. Um, this is a secret rare from the Labyrinth of Nightmare set, um, which is super sick. Elf twins that alternate their attacks. That's all you need to know. That, and it's got 1900 attack, which is amazing. Um, oh no, <laughs> yeah, I guess it is kind of hard to see in the picture. Um, oh wait, no, a lion zebra, like, uh, Libra? Is that what you're asking? Or are you asking about Gemini Elf? Uh, Libra. Um, Libra is, it's actually scales. It's a, actually a pretty low-key one. I remember as a kid when I learned that that was my sign, I was pretty, <laughs> I was kind of bummed about it. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, Libra is just scales, you know. Um, yes, birth signs, Brody. Um, yeah, like when, do you know your birth sign? When or what uh, time of the year are you born? You don't have to say your birthday or anything. Maybe just, you don't know your sign. What month were you born, we'll say. Because we don't want people stealing your identity. Oh yeah, you also can look it up online. I suggest you do that. Don't put it in chat. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Anyway, guys, this has been wonderful. Thank you for being here with me. I know that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is not your forte tech, but this has been delightful. This has been super fun. Um, I really like this new system where I can bring in a card if I have it in real life. That's really fun. Um, but with that, I'll see you guys later this week. Um, it'll probably be, it'll be Emerald. I don't know when I'm going to stream next. Uh, I have some kind of schedule wonkiness, so stay tuned in the Discord. I'll, I'll definitely go live again during the week here. Um, but, ah, uh, thank you, Tech. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll drop in the Discord when I'm going live next. And, uh, <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, 
And with that, everybody have a delightful, delightful evening and delightful, delightful week. Peace out. <laughs>